Our goal is not to take COVID-19 to zero. Our goal is to keep the spread under control so it does not overwhelm the healthcare system without hammering our broader social, economic, uh, mental and physical health. So the goal is, if the goal was just single-mindedly uh, to take the, the virus to zero, as some other jurisdictions have tried to do, then, then it's a pretty easy uh, policy decision in, in a way. You just, uh, uh, you know, impose uh, maximum restrictions, lock everyone in their homes, stay at home orders, shut down every business, close the schools, um, and watch massive uh, social and economic damage ripple through society. Uh, we have demonstrated through most of the past nine months that we can live responsibly with COVID, with limited, targeted, smart, data-based measures that do not cause massive, widespread damage to the health of our society. We need to get back to that, which is where we were through most of March through uh, October. Um, that's our goal. We do not think it's realistic the, that the, the, the cost to people's lives and livelihoods of trying to go to zero until there's a vaccine, and, and we don't know when that would be, would simply be uh, unacceptable I I in our view. That's not a question of ideology. We're following data. We're following evidence. So people who are uh, hounding us to shut down restaurants, wh why? Because they want to, quote, do something when our data indicates that 0.7% of identifiable transmission has occurred in restaurants and similar businesses. Uh, so what we're doing today is we're focusing on an area of much more significant transmission in a much less structured environment, which is at-home social gatherings uh, and social gatherings uh, more generally. So our approach will continue to be informed by, by the data and by balancing uh, the COVID concern with other broader social, economic and health concerns. Um, having said that, I've been clear, Rick, from the get-go, that as much as uh, I believe Albertans want to maintain res what I call responsible freedom in all of this, if, if folks don't respond to the kind of voluntary measures we're calling on today in Calgary and Edmonton, uh, no more at-home parties, for example, if they don't respond, we will have no choice but to bring in more stringent measures. I don't want to do that. And I, 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 finally, let me just say, I'm sure people who call for, quotes, lockdowns are, are well-intentioned. But I would ask them to be compassionate for the people who are barely hanging on to the, for example, restaurateurs whose life savings are tied up in those businesses that are barely surviving today. I'll, I'll just focus on that industry. Um, 15,000 restaurants in Alberta employing over 200,000 people, many of them people with modest incomes. And, and to say, you know, in, in sort of an excess of caution, even though it's not supported by the data, we're going to shut them all down. As we go into the Christmas season, usually they're the, the only season in which they, they the, the best, their best season of the year, without that being supported by the data, what happens to those folks? When they lose their life savings, when they lose their jobs, when they lose their incomes, what happens to their mental and emotional health? So uh, I, I would just say to those folks, uh, we will con our, we'll continue to st stick to our goal. Uh, and uh, we just ask Albertans to help us do that so we can get back to where we were uh, earlier in the year.